What's happening, everybody? Sean joined again by my son, Trey. And today we got a reaction to Kasabian and their song is Clubfoot versus Fire, brought to us by friend, right. longtime supporter and patron of the channel, Pete. Thank you, Pete. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the patrons who make this thing go. If you'd like to support us in any way, check out that Patreon link below. The patron link on the end screen. All right, y'all. Well, we'll just uh, kick right into it, man. Not uh, not heard of these guys, but Pete always does a good job of, uh, um, you know, digging a little deeper in the uh, the UK music scene, and and so I'm I'm looking forward to this. They're an English rock band, formed in 1997 here, um, and they've uh, had a, a couple different lineup yep. changes throughout the years. Uh, some people gone off to form different bands and all uh, all that uh, good stuff. One um, even uh, left for Liam Gallagher's BD. I ban in 2013, which is uh, which is interesting. But um, in 2010 and 2014, they won the Q Award for Best Act in the World Today. Yeah, what quite, a, yeah that's why I was like, I've never heard of these guys. What an award! Uh, while they were also named Best Live Act at the 2014 Q Awards and uh, the 2007 and 2018 NME Awards. So 11 years different. I was yeah. gonna say, I'm always impressed with that. Uh, the band's music is often described as indie rock, um, but uh, you know, one of their their main members has said that he quote hates indie bands and does not feel that Sabian fits into that category. They've released as seven albums. It's been described as a mix between the Stone Roses and Primal Scream with the swagger of Oasis. Okay, okay, I'm uh, I'm looking uh, I'm looking forward to this then. Going with Clubfoot um, off the Kasabian album in 2004, their debut album in October 2011. Enemy placed it at 108 on the 150 best tracks of the past 15 years. Went to 19 in the UK, but went to 27 on the US modern rock charts. Bassist Chris Edwards said, it's about love and life. At the time, in 2002, the war in Iraq had just kicked off, mm -hmm. and the lyrics aren't about pushing you in one way or the other, but just about what was going on at the time, what you'd read in the paper about soldiers being petrol bombed. Serge said the song is about revenge and having it out. He also said, we were watching a Beach Boys documentary mm -hmm. and saw they had a great kind of approach to making good vibrations. We wanted to approach Clubfoot the same way to mess with the landscape and give the listener something to hold on to. It's known for its distinctive distorted bass riff, but that's okay. played by lead guitar, guitarist Christopher Carwell, as opposed to their primary bassist, Chris okay. Edwards. But I bet no one knows that, but now <laughs> you do. We're gonna have the lyrics up as always. Thanks again. Definitely has the vibe of an opener as well. Opener on their debut album. First thing you ever heard from them. Riff gonna be stuck in my head, man. Yeah, exactly.
right club foot. The bass work was definitely stand out on there. Just a really great sound. Yeah, man. I was really impressed with the production. Uh, yeah. It's crazy, Dad. Almost 20 years ago, this uh, this, this true, came yeah. out. And uh, uh, yeah, what a, what a distinctive um, sound to you know kick off your record right here. Like I like I said, that riff going to be stuck in my head. Yeah, but, definitely. Uh, I, I'd like some of the wordplay in here as well. We start one, take control of me. You're messing with the enemy. He said it's two. It's another trick. He notes that uh, he, he's uh, chasing down an empty street, blindly snap the broken beats, um, and, uh, you know, just knowing some of the, the war, uh, yeah. you know, inspiration yeah. for this, and then I kind of like the ha 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 Yeah, it really <laughs> sticks in your head, man. Always good to do those things. Um, but, yeah, man, all in all, I, I thought it uh, was, went by quite uh, quite quickly did. as well. Not that it was a long song by any means, but, uh, yeah, man, very crisp sound, and uh, I, I can see it being a little, a little cutting edge and different than, uh, you know, what was kind of going on around sure. the music scene at this time but uh, we're going to check out now the song fire from their third record in 2009 this went to three in the uk their highest charting single to date as well as their fourth uk top 10 single went to one in scotland as well scotland was really scotland feeling was really this feeling. one featuring Callaway's 2010 super bowl commercial is the official song this is probably where everybody knows it, of the premier league from 2010 oh, to 11 season up to the 20 20- well, 2013 season in October 2011, that NME list of the 150 best tracks of the last 15 years. This one placed at 65. Serge was improvising the studio and played the slow guitar rhythm heard in the verse. Um, so, and he suggested Tom sing the verses like Elvis. Mm. So, uh, Serge had another idea for a groovier song, which ended up being the chorus, and stitched it together with the Elvis part for a laugh. Then realized it sounded <laughs> great. So, there you go. Got a little bit of the Elvis in here. Yeah.
Fire. What a fantastic song. You definitely see how it could be like a theme in certain parts of it. The chorus was just fantastic. No, dude. The, I, the way it was like arranged with him kind of in the background. You can barely hear him saying the words. We can see the lyrics. Yeah, and the, the instrumentation that really ramped up to another level yeah. and an explosion. I guess if that's you the will. two different songs put together. But yeah. I, I didn't expect it, but yeah, like the um I feel what I say, I'm heading back into the tunnel for my soul to burn. I was thinking with the Premier League, I was like, I, yeah, I don't that's know what if I'm, they want their soul to but I don't you know, know they're getting the fired tunnel, up, man. Yeah, like I, I was like, Yeah, this this song would get me hyped. And yeah. it almost even sounded of familiar at points. I don't know if it was ever on a, a FIFA game around Ooh, this time. Or it might have been. Maybe I'm just tricking my mind into thinking I know this song when I don't. But um, but yeah, man, I uh, I think, um, you know, you could definitely hear as well that some of the, uh, especially in like the first, like some of that, that Elvis. Yeah, at the first, then I forgot about it. Like I didn't um, notice it after that, but at the first, definitely. But uh, yeah, a, a really cool way that they, you know, blended these uh, two tracks together and made a, made a hit, made their, their arguably biggest hit, I guess. And yeah. that, that is sometimes funny in the music biz, how, how that works um, and, and how your, your biggest hits really come together, man. But I, I enjoyed both of these songs and um, you know what? I'm going to end up giving it though to fire. I, I, th I think that just answers anthemic chorus is too much to overcome even though even though that bass you know riff dad and clubfoot was yeah yeah too. i agree and i i same exact thing for me i'm going with fire clubfoot's a really good song fire is a great song so we need your help below who do you mm -hmm. think won what else should we check out from kasabian yeah man and uh, if you liked what you saw hit that thumbs up hit that subscribe button and uh, be sure to show some love to our patron pete for bringing this to us today and uh, if you'd like to have us do a battle, check out our Patreon page as well. But uh, until next time, y'all, thanks so much for watching. Happy listening. We will see you.